going to take you through the 10 poses that are going to up your insta game aka the only 10 poses that I know how to do so let's go so the first one is the classic hair tonic accompanied with your best PG rated sex face slash O face you kind of just take a breath and slightly part your mouth and look as sexy as possible typical blogger pose, I like to call it the I'm still trying to find my dignity on the floor slash I just dropped $10 and I'm still trying to find it after two hours. It works every time. This one's my favorite. I like to call it the China squat slash I'm trying to take a shit pose. So you just literally squat down, pop a squat, and pretend you're a G. Hi, it me. That's what I like to call this pose. It's like the classic look back but still trying to be gracious about it. Like someone just calls your name and you're is blowing in the wind in slow-mo. Slowly turn around and slightly smile, but don't smile too much so that you know you're not giving them the full attention, but they're still captivated by you. Look at the description. Yeah, let's go with that. This is why I like to buy everything with pockets because I never know what to do with my hands, like now. It's just way all over the place. But if you have pockets, you just let your hands just chill in the pockets and do your thing. This is the easiest one you can probably do. Just find a curb on the street, sit down, spread your legs, and pretend you're DJ Khaled. This pose I've been doing a lot recently. You can do it with one hand or two hands, plop it on your waist, and you're instantly in Vogue magazine. So this pose is really awkward to do. It's also really awkward to watch as someone does it. You place your arm on your forehead and pretend you're sunbathing in the sun and be really nonchalant about it but if I saw any of my friends doing it I would instantly make fun of them but it does turn out pretty high fashion if you do it right I can't but I'm just telling you in case you master it before me I talked a little bit about this in my last video on five tips to get the perfect shot. So to get the perfect walking shot, it's better to teeter-totter to allow the photographer time to capture the right walking movement. If you just go ahead and stretch, most of your photos will probably come out blurry. Unless that's the look you're going for, then you know by all means, do you boo. This pose I discovered as a fluke because I really had to pee, but I still needed to shoot. So you just pretend that you really have to pee and act really cool about it. That's really all there is to it. And if you really do have to pee, then even better. <laughs> so as a bonus, I do this in all my shots because I think it makes me appear cooler. But you kind of just avoid the world and the camera at all costs. So you gotta look behind it, look beside it, any which way besides the actual camera. guys um, I'm Tina I eat some butter chicken now I'm Indian hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe um, I've also opened a new Instagram channel aka Naj so go follow that uh, and yeah good luck with the Instagram shots ah, ah, what she said